sales pros. Thank God it's Friday. Well, as part of the TGIF series, um, what I'm going to be doing today is that I'm going to be sharing with you about emotions and how can we sell more effectively when it comes to emotions. Well, I'm now here in my hotel room and I've just finished a corporate training together with a Vietnamese company and tomorrow I'll be with them again where I'll be sharing with them about objection handling, I'll be sharing with them about negotiations. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to jump into a couple of slides, uh, probably one or two slides, where I'm going to share with you about the four buying motivators. That whenever it is that you want to sell, you need to focus on placing the right emotions at the right time. At the same time, if you can link these emotions to your features, it gives your features a lot more meat. So let's begin to learn how we can utilize emotions to sell more effectively. So I'm looking forward and I'll see you soon, sales pros. All right, sales pros, let's begin. Your product only adds as much value to your clients as the amount of impact it has on their lives. You know your clients and what they value. This is a very important statement for you to always remember. For many of us, whenever it is that we go out there and sell, we're so focused on getting our products across. We're so focused on getting our features across. But we did not focus enough on, on demonstrating to our clients how our product impacts their lives. When we talk about impacting a client's life, what I mean is by building on their emotions. Logic helps your client to understand what the product is about, but emotions create the desire in them to buy. So what we do is that we focus on creating emotions like happiness, excitement, confidence. Some of us, we install fear. But all of these things are not going to help us if we do not place them effectively at the right time, at the right point. What am I talking about? The four buying motivators. You see, there are four buying motivators when it comes to selling. Current pain, future pain, current pleasure, future pleasure. Number one, our product and our feature needs to show our client how it removes a current pain. That means, for example, if you are feeling sick, if you have a fever, you go down to the pharmacy and you buy yourself some medication to remove your current pain. So what you need to do is that whenever you are selling, you need to demonstrate how your product removes a current pain. Maybe your client has a current situation that they're dealing with, manpower issues, customer relationship management software issues, inability to motivate their staff, skill set lapse, supply chain management issues. Whatever it is that you're selling and how it's relevant to your customer, you need to always focus on how a particular feature all that product that you're selling removes a current pain. So therefore, they see the value. Secondly, future pain. Many people, they buy things because they want to prevent a future pain. For example, we buy insurance because we want to prevent a future pain. We don't want to incur high hospitalization costs. We want to make sure that if anything happens in the future, we are covered and our loved ones are covered. So people buy things because they want to prevent a future pain. So in the same way, when you are selling, you have to ensure that any of your products or your features prevent a future pain. So for example, when you sell your client a warranty on your product, that is a prevention of future pain because it lowers his cost of maintenance. It lowers his need to continuously repair, right, at cost. Current pleasure. A lot of people, they buy things because they want to feel good right now. So for example, why would you buy the latest handphones? Because when you, you buy the latest handphones, because it makes you feel good right now. So sometimes, some clients are like that. They want to buy into a product, they buy into a feature, because they feel that this is going to be a great thing for me to have right now, it is going to make me feel good right now, and it's something that I want right now. At the same time, we've got future pleasure. Now what do you mean by future pleasure? Well, why do we invest money? Why do we have savings? Why do we always look for opportunities to be able to grow our money, for example? Simple. Because we do all of this now for our future pleasure. We are always looking for opportunities to create more wealth. The reason? Because in the future, we want to have more wealth to retire. We want to have more wealth to enjoy our lives. We want to have more wealth to be able to buy whatever we want to buy. So if you take a look at these very simple mo buying motivators, what you're going to realize is that you need, you need to ensure that every single feature that you have either removes a current pain, prevents a future pain, creates a current pleasure, 
or creates a future pleasure. It's as simple as that, my friends. So what I would like you to do right now, very simply here, is this. I would like you to take out a pen and paper, sit down, write down all of your features, and see which one of these features remove a current pain, prevent a future pain, create a current pleasure, or create a future pleasure. Your question to me right now possibly would be this. Leroy, should I have a mix of pain and pleasure, or should I have all pleasure, or should I have all pain? Well, to be very honest with you, you shouldn't have all pain because then it seems like you're the bringer of bad news. You are a dark cloud over their lives. And you shouldn't have everything to be full of pleasure because then it sounds too good to be true. What you want to be able to do is that you want to bring your client through a spectrum of emotions. You want them to move from pain to pleasure. After all, don't you realize that all human beings, that's how we do things in our lives. We are always doing things because we are moving ourselves from pain to pleasure. Pain to pleasure. Very rarely do you find somebody who wants to move from pleasure to pain. So if you can demonstrate how your features show your client how it removes the current pain, prevents a future pain, at the same time show them how it creates a current pleasure and creates a future pleasure, your client feels as if they're going from pain to pleasure. So if you look at all of your features that you have written down, it's really quite simple. What you have to do is to focus on some of your features removing a pain, preventing a pain, and some of your features creating pleasure, whether it's current or future. Once you've been able to do that, play around with different ways, different formats, and see which one really suits your clients. Because different clients might have different pains, different pleasures that they're looking for. But as long as you have all of this in the back of your mind, when you are selling to your client and you show a strong balance between pain and pleasure, your client will be so much more emotionally involved because they feel that they're moving from one place to another. In this case, pain to pleasure. So keep on doing this for every single product that you have, every single feature that you have, and go out there and test it out with your clients and see them change in the way that they value your product. So I really hope that you've been able to benefit from this very short video. And what I would like you to do right now is to keep on practicing that. Subscribe to our channel because I'm going to have more and more and more videos for you. If not, sales pros, have a great life and I will see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.